Now your GCSE mock exams are more important than you think. They give a really good indication of how you're probably going to get on in your real summer exams. So in this video, I'm just gonna go through a few simple things to help you achieve the highest grades you possibly can, both in your mock exams and your real exams. So my name is Lewis Matheson. I used to be a physics teacher, but now I'm full time on YouTube making videos for people like you to prepare for their exams. Now over the last few years, I've helped thousands of people and I've got everything sorted out and organized over at GCSEphysicsonline.com. One of the most important things to do before it comes to actually starting your revision is to know exactly which topics you're going to be assessed on in your mock exam. Now your teachers may well have mentioned this in class, but you can always have a quiet word with them, maybe send them an email to find out exactly which topics you're going to be assessed on. Once you know that, you can use a checklist to make sure that you've covered everything that comes up in the exam board specification. Now I've got some extra ones which are specific to GCSE physics and you can find those on my website. And basically this just means that you can work through it methodically, point by point, and you can tick off if you're really happy with that material, in which case you don't need to spend much time on it. There might be things there that you don't understand what they mean, and that then allows you to have that conversation with your teacher where you can ask them for a little bit of extra help. But by going through it line by line, section by section, that means you're not going to miss anything when it comes to your revision. The next thing is that you need to realise that you don't have to be perfect and really neat when it comes to making your own revision notes. There's no point just copying out exactly what you've written down in class and these flashcards, you're only going to be using them for a few more months. So they don't need to be colourful, they don't need to be neat, they just need to be useful for you to use. And the same applies to when it comes to writing out your answers to questions. This is for you to mark, so you just need to know that you've got some of the brief notes down there that helps you actually look through the mark scheme and give yourself the marks that you think you'd be awarded. They don't need to be perfect, it's just for you and it's only a short term thing to help you learn. And this leads on to probably the most important thing that will make up the backbone of all of your revision and that's just doing question after question after question. Now there are resources like Eyes at Physics that have thousands of questions and you can go there and that will self-mark your work. There are also past papers and the real advantage of those is that they've been written by real examiners and there are also really detailed mark schemes as well. Basically, if you want to get good at physics or any other subject, just do as many questions as possible and that's going to show you how the knowledge and the skills and the experiments that you've learned about in lessons can be applied in slightly different situations. Of course, there are only so many past papers available and if you want to find even more, I've actually written a whole series of GCSE physics past papers uh, aimed at the AQA course, but these are the kind of things that can take people like you from a grade seven to an eight or a nine. Ultimately, it comes down to you just spending time doing as many questions as possible. So head over to gcsephysicsonline.com to download the free learning checklists and also find all of the practice papers as well as hundreds more videos that cover everything you need to know about for GCSE Physics.